Hello, everyone. My name is Shama. I'm with Girls and Geese. We're back for yet another exciting Next Generation series. We have yet another up and coming young girl that will be sharing her story, her perspective, a little bit about her jujitsu journey. She's 11 years old. She's a yellow belt. She trains out of White Plains, New York. She's a three time Pan American medalist. Um, if you haven't seen her on Instagram, check her out. Her name is Rihanna Donatella Tumanello. And Raina. Raina. one more time, Raina, Raina. Raina Donatella Tumanello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Awesome. And we're super excited to have you on today. Tell us a little bit about yourself that I haven't already said. Um, I, hi, my name is Raina Tumanello and I, the things I like to do is I like to to travel, do jujitsu, rock climb, and watch anime and do a weight training with Carmen X. Awesome. So when how long have you been training jujitsu? Five years. Five years. What how did you get started? What got you into it? When I, I think when I was little in second grade, I got a bully. So, so we, so we did jujitsu too. Then one day, I uh, we got into a fight. Oh he, no! He punched me in the face, and then I just were fighting. Oh no! That's how we did jujitsu. Awesome. Did. Well, I'm glad you found jujitsu, even though you came to it having, you know, having such a bad incident. You know, unfortunately, a lot of a lot of us, including myself, were bullied as kids. Um, but I'm glad that you found jujitsu to help make you feel stronger. What did that do when you found jujitsu after going through that? Um, I was happy and it, it it helped me get stronger and everything. Awesome. What would you say to other little girls that are maybe experiencing the same that are maybe being bullied or little boys too? What? Why would you say they should try jujitsu? What are the benefits that can come from it? Um, they could they could stick up for themselves. They as she case to they try to do something like punch them or anything. They could defend themselves. Absolutely. And yep, yeah, and they could also they also could help any any people in need, like person who's getting bullied right now. Pretend pretend someone was getting bullied, right? And they want to stick up for them. Absolutely. No, I think right there, you nailed it. You know, there's a lot of benefits that come from it. If you are being bullied, for sure, it can help you. So tell me a little bit, you compete now. How did you go from coming into, was it love at first sight with jujitsu? Were you like, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I think that love at first sight. (laughs) (laughs) So you were like, I don't want to leave the mats. I just want to do this all the time. Yeah. Awesome. (laughs) <laughs> so are you did you start rock climbing afterwards or did you yeah, st- yeah? rock climbing afterwards it's good for your grips yes it is yeah see I did the opposite I went from rock climbing into jiu-jitsu <clears throat> so that's awesome that you're able to supplement it with that what are your favorite animes um Naruto and some other kinds of animes was see if we can there's a lot of animes that you watch. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about how you got into competition. What kind of led you to get into that? Was that something that you wanted to do right away? Or was it after a little while being in jujitsu that you wanted to start um, doing it? Uh, my professor, JT Torres, told me to, to do a competition. And I lost the first time. To my first competition, but in the second time I won. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's very cool. What did it what what when you like when you started competing, was that something that you realized you wanted to do right away as also? Or was yeah. yeah? Did you get nervous? I get nervous. Sometimes I get yeah, I do get nervous. You do and, get nervous? What makes you feel better when you're feeling really nervous? Um, Mostly I use my headset to put some music on. What do you listen to? Um, Sia and 21 Pilots. 
<laughs> I'd say it does get you all pumped up and calms yeah. you down. Yeah. yeah. You dance. I know a lot of jujitsu women dance. I've seen some guys dance too, but mostly the women you see them. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Very cool. So what is it about competition that you enjoy the most? Hmm. Mostly is to train and and because if I mostly when I do some competitions, it helps me learn about my mistakes and I keep moving forward and practice my mistakes. Absolutely. I was just going to say that, you know, I have learned from my experience that I've learned so much more from losing than I ever did when I won. Right. Because when you're when you win, you're like, yeah, I won. This is awesome. And you don't think yeah. about like, oh, so, no, I sometimes when I win, sometimes when I win, I did some I do so, a lot of mistakes when I win sometimes. So I so I keep practicing my mistakes. Do you remember what you did in your turn? Uh, like what happened in the matches? Um, sometimes I forgot to get my grips and everything, so oh, I was pulling guard and everything. So, so I I practiced with those. Then I got really better with them. Very cool. Well, it's Thank good you. you could remember what you did. You know, a lot of times what happens is people can't remember at all you know, what they happen during the matches and then they can't go back and fix any of those or correct any of those things. So that's really cool that you have that awareness to do okay. it. Thank do you, you watch, do you watch your matches with your parents and your coaches also? Does that yeah. help? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does anybody else in your family train? Are you, are... Um, my, I think my, my two cousins, Lucci and my cello, my little sister and my mom and dad. Very cool. So the whole family's training. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys go to competitions? Is everybody competing now too? No. <laughs> no my little sister does, but my my little me, my little sister, and my two cousins, Lucci and Marcello, compete. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, you know what? I think you're gonna inspire more. Maybe mom and dad, then your little sister. Yeah, the whole family going out there and collecting medals. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, my little sister does. She does. Uh, oh, cool. How old is she? Um, eight. She's eight, eight years old. old. Yes. Very cool. Did you get her into jujitsu? Which did she start yes. by watching you? Yeah, she started watching me, and then she she got inspired to do it. I that's think she cool. was four years old when she wanted to do it. Wow, four years old. How old were you when you started? Six. You were six? Wow. So you're like, so I was just, yesterday I was just talking to this black belt, and she was the same. She was six years old when she started also, and now she's 21. And she's out there collecting medals. And it's really cool to see because you guys are the future. You really are. You guys are a part of that generation that is going to be training your whole childhood into your 20s and 30s and on. So I'm really excited to see what you guys do. Yeah. <laughs> like Professor Fionn? Like Professor Fionn. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you guys are that next generation that's doing it. And so you're going to evolve it. You guys are the first American generation, really you know, that is, has done that. Thank so you. I'm, keep with it. <laughs> I will. Do you, do you ever have days when you feel, and I know I do too, what, days where you're like, I don't really want to train or I'm frustrated. No, uh, no, no, that's good. No. What would you say to the little girls that maybe are little boys also or, or adults also? That maybe you're like, oh, I'm frustrated. I'm not getting this move. I'm having a really hard time. What would you say to them? I'd say, don't give up on your dream. Keep going. Keep going. And in, you could keep practicing your moves. Keep practicing it once you get it right. Very cool. No, that's true. Like, um, I had another little girl do an analogy of, you know, it was, we all had a hard time even trying to stand up when we're babies, right? And walk. It's the same thing. Yeah. You just got to keep going, right? And yeah. Eventually you'll get it. And then you're walking around and then you're running all over. So yeah. that's awesome. That's a really cool perspective. What are some of your goals? What do, what do you want to do this, this year or in the future? This year, I want to win 
2023 kids pants. And Very cool. the ADCC, if it comes back, I'm sure it will. Yeah. That's awesome. Where is the pan? Where are the pans next year? I think around Florida. Oh, that's not too far from you. You're up in New York, so it's. I mean, that's a ways, but at least it's on the same coast. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Do you get to travel to other tournaments, or you do a lot of yes, tournaments? Yes, do. Yeah, I where do. have you been? I I travel to Las Vegas. Wow. California, Texas, Florida, Maryland, Philadelphia, Jersey. Jersey. Wow. That's it. You've been from coast to coast and in between. That's cool. Where was your favorite place to go visit? I think I wish to visit Italy. Oh, Italy would be good. The food is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and I can transfer jujitsu moves into Italy. That would be cool. In Italian? Do you speak yeah. any Italian? Yes, I do. You do? What do you know how to say? Um, ciao, buongiorno. And, and the guy just... <laughs> Mi chiamo Reina. Mi chiamo Reina. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you know more than I do. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Have do you ever want to? Have you ever thought about when you grow up? What, I know you're very young and you got a lot of time ahead of you. But have you ever thought about what you want to do when you grow up? To be to be the best jujitsu player. Very cool. <laughs> Would you ever want to do a teacher or be a, do seminars and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Do you like help? Do you, have you ever like uh, have you ever helped out with the kids class? Like being like yes. an assistant coach? Yeah. Um. No. No. Not much. But some soon I will. But mostly sometimes I sometimes on Saturdays when I'm when I'm free I some little I ask some little kids if they want to do some lessons to practice their moves and they say yeah. Very cool. So you can help them if they're having some issues. Yeah. You can help them kind of correct it. Yeah. That's cool. That's a really good skill. Just like competing, right? Competing yeah. is a really good skill. And the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Do you find that it gets easier as you do it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What is your favorite part about jujitsu? My favorite it's... part of jujitsu is sparring. Sparring? Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you ever get to spar with your coaches? Um, no. Some, no? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes if, if there's not enough people, we have to, sometimes if there's enough coaches, we can spar with them. Professor like Professor JT, Coach, Professor Sam, Professor, Sam, Professor, Co Bion, Professor Bion. Nice. You're rolling with some high level people over there. That's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how do you balance? You have a lot of interest. How do you find time to do everything and go to school and spend time with your family? I come home and do my homework as fast as I can. And then if I, then I do jujitsu. Then you go to jujitsu. When do you do your rock climbing? Oh, I think on Saturdays and Sundays, but mostly when it's summer, we could do more rock climbing. When do you summer, go indoor or outdoor? It's indoor, but most. In summer, I in summer we mostly go to rock. We if we have a lot of time and everything, we could do is rock climbing. Very and, cool. Have you ever thought about adding any judo or wrestling for takedowns? Yeah, I really want to do wrestling. Wrestling in seventh, seventh and eighth grade. If yeah. No, that's really cool. A lot of girls, I've seen a lot of jujitsu kids go into wrestling. And once they hit like, especially like, high, you know, junior high, kind of like what you're talking through high school and then into college and, and it, it, their level of their game is phenomenal once they add that wrestling because they, they got really good takedowns. Yeah. So let me ask you, are you a guard puller or takedowns? Guard polar. <laughs> it's okay. I am too. <laughs> That's awesome. I know we get a bad rap, but you know what? I like the guard. What's your favorite position? Um, close guard. 
Clothes guard, what do you do from there? What's your bread and butter? Um, an arm bar. An yeah. arm bar? How and do you I, set? Go ahead. I just, I just do a triangle and if they then do the arm bar as fast as I could. And, nice. And then the heat back. I also do the heat back. What do you work off from there? Um, some overhead sweeps with the sure. spider guard, a la lasso, barambolo, right? guard. Nice. What's your favorite submission right now? Arm bars. <laughs> <laughs> Just arm bars from everywhere? Do you do arm bars from mount? Yes. Yeah? But it's mostly from the guard? Yeah. Yeah. I know I like playing on my back too. But then do you know what happened is I hurt my knee. I used to have a really strong guard and then I hurt my knee, which is kind of what happens when you get older in jujitsu or at any point too. But um, so I had to start playing top game. So it's interesting how that evolves. Did you always play guard or did you, is that something that you evolved to do? Always guard. That's always. cool. I also practice my top game. Nice. Very cool. So I'm curious. I, I'm curious to get your take. And I think a lot of the little kids and parents listening could benefit from this. But for other kids that are being bullied, what would you have to say to them? Like, what helped you kind of get through that hard point? Because it's really hard, you know, like uh, being bullied is difficult. Ask their parents or teachers. And if they keep it up, they have to, if they keep it up, I what, I think when the story, I asked her to stop taking stuff from me, but she just punched me. So if she, if a kid punches you or anything, defend yourself. defend yourself by just try to, to fight them as best as you could. could. That's oh, yeah. good advice. I think that's really good advice. Because it's scary to talk about it to adults, right? When yeah. it's happening. It yeah. is. So I think it's important that kids know that they can talk to somebody if it's happening. So it stops. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Right. And that's what you said. That's awesome. So I love what you had to say. So I'm going to go ahead and close out with one, an opportunity for you to say anything you want. Um, <laughs> shout out to anybody out there. Um, offer Thank any you. kind of advice. Go okay. for it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Professor JT Torres and to Tommy for helping me on my way. This is and in the essential jujitsu. Tommy, the essential family. In the essential family. Awesome. Thank you again. <laughs> no problem. One actually, I did. I didn't, I had a question that came with that. Is what what is the best advice that you've gotten from one of your coaches? Um, is there anything that somebody said to you that like, wow, that that makes sense? No. Uh, wait, hard work works. Hard. That work. is a good one. That is a good one. Well, you keep working. You keep winning those gold medals. You keep doing what you're doing. Loving jujitsu. I'm super proud of you, kiddo. You're doing awesome. You're the future of jujitsu, and thank you so much for taking the time, and thank you to your family for letting us do this. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Until next time, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you again. Bye. Bye.